Well, the Transport Department has refuted a report in a weekend paper that it's threatening to grant Emirates airline in South Africa. The Sunday Times reporting that the Transport Minister from the UAE was instructed to meet with South Africa's Transport Minister De Poer Peters, failing which Emirates flights to and from South Africa could be cancelled. The dispute relates to government's reported unhappiness with a fourth daily flight being operated by Emirates. The airline was reportedly given permission for the flight between Johannesburg and Dubai, which was later withdrawn, and it's gone to court to uphold the agreement. Emirates is one of the largest flight operators in South Africa. Thousands of locals fly Emirates, connecting to Europe, America and Australia through Dubai. To discuss, we're now joined by a spokesperson for the Transport Ministry, Tiani Rikotso. Thank you for joining us, uh, Tiani. For, first, these claims that the, the minister from the UAE was summoned here, given a week to arrive, uh, some reports uh, saying that, that he had to appear by today. That's not true. Good evening, and thanks for the invitation. Absolutely not true, and it's quite unfortunate that um, confidential correspondence between the Department of Transport representing the South African government and our mission in the UAE uh, to begin to resolve the outstanding issues so far as ourselves and Emirates uh, are concerned found itself in the hands of information peddlers who unfortunately, as it's the norm, information is used without context. So, so therefore the background uh, which seeks to justify the need for us to have an urgent meeting uh, was not given in all the reports that we have seen. Hence, therefore, there are all these information gaps. So, so you're saying the report is true, but, but it needs context. The, the minister was requested to come. No, 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 no. What they did, they wrote to us uh, requesting for a meeting with them. After we had indicated our need, uh, our, an agent need for us to have a discussion around the bilateral air service agreement that we have with them. Because you'll know that Currently, Emirates operates on the basis of a bilateral agreement between ourselves and the government of the UAE. So without that particular agreement, Emirates has no basis to basically be operating in South Africa. So hence, therefore, our indication that it becomes important that we meet urgently to deal specifically with two issues. The first one is their request to introduce a fourth flight to Johannesburg. And the second one is to look at other issues related to a bilateral air service agreement. Because this is an agreement which needs to be reviewed from time to time given the changes in the economic landscape and all those things. It's, it, it's a norm so far as a, a bilateral air service agreements are. I, I think it's complicated. So can I just get a few fa facts yeah. from you? When will that meeting take place now? Well, the meeting between the two ministers has not been set. Hence, therefore, the reports about them having to meet urgently today where the minister from the UAE was summoned. It's completely untrue. Okay. What has happened is that the Minister of Transport has since um, uh, deployed the Deputy Director uh, General responsible for aviation to the United Emirates. He's uh, flying actually this evening as we speak where he'll be interacting with our head of mission in the UAE so that they can facilitate conversations with officials of the UAE because as I indicated earlier on, the agreement is between us and the government of the UAE. But there's no threat whatsoever to the operations of UAE in our country. Uh, I mean Emirates in our country because you will know that um, when we granted them the, 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 the permission to fly to South Africa in 2007, we gave, we gave them 56 flights per week. So currently, they are flying to our Tambo 28 times a week, 14 times to Cape Town, and 14 times to King Shaga Airport in Deba. However, they, out of the 56 slots that we've given them, they are currently using 49. So therefore, it becomes important that we look at their request uh, to introduce a fourth flight. The context to the request uh, you'll know that that flight is currently operational, the fourth flight. It's operational on the basis of an, an, what I'll call an illegal uh, a permit which was given to Emirates by an official within the Department of Transport who was not duly authorized to do so. Let, let's talk about yeah. that because it sounds like a, uh, maybe a more junior official gave yeah. permission. It was then retracted by a more senior official. But, but we have to be careful here because these bilateral yes. treaties are, are important and South Africa surely can't look like it. It gives permission then retracts permission. And I don't know the, the uh, position of the person who gave permission, but the court upheld that. Most definitely. Should we not stick to that on on that basis? Most definitely. Uh, the unfortunate thing is, not a, is that it's, it's, it's not a junior official who did that. It's a, a director who's considered to be a senior manager in government terms. Uh, however, the so person was not... So his word should stand, yeah, should it not? The person was not duly authorized. And government would deal uh, according to ranks and levels of delegation depend on the position that you hold. 
The person who has the authority to do so, the Deputy Director General responsible for aviation, who's two steps ahead of the person who gave authority. So therefore, hence we wrote to the uh, um, uh, Emirates airline indicating to them that the permit that they have to introduce a fourth flight is actually was not issued legally according to uh, the prescripts of the law so far as uh, how the department operates. So we have an intention to withdraw that particular permit. So that's when they went to court and meaning that uh, given the fact that court, uh, the court ruled in their favor, granted them an interdict against us from stopping them uh, from introducing a fourth flight, technically they are operating on the basis of the court interdict that day. But you will know that our, our, our agreement with the uh, government of the United uh, um, Arab Emirates is not on the basis of court processes, but it's a bilateral agreement on the basis of relationships between two governments, on the basis of cooperation which will be beneficial to both countries. So hence, therefore, we've elevated the matter to that platform. Uh, granted that the court has, uh, has granted them an interdict, uh, but we are more interested in making sure that we secure that cooperation that we have with them, even for future partnerships going forward. There, there are two issues here. Uh, th the first one, is it not a danger that, that airlines feel that they can come in um, and, and because of these treaties, they're, they're operating on government's whim rather than standard, these are technical requirements, you meet them, you can operate in South Africa. So everybody knows what, what the rules are. All the airlines that are operating in South Africa, you, uh, Emirates is not the only airline that flies into South Africa. All the airlines work according to uh, the bilateral air service agreements that we have with their respective countries. So it's a norm, it's a standard practice anywhere in the world. Uh, however, it becomes important that authority is given by people who are duly authorized to do so. So the official in question is currently on suspension. He has been suspended for that particular. That's how serious we take the matter. And internal processes are unfolding to basically get to the bottom of what it is that could have inclined him uh, to issue a permit to Emirates without the uh, delegated authority to do so. The, the other issue is Emirates wouldn't be flying a fourth flight unless there was demand for that. And, and we know if there's competition and all the airlines can fly, it's better for South Africans. Cheaper tickets, more routes to travel, more routes for, for trade. So, so a big underlying concern here is that you're trying to um, decrease Emirates' market share or stop it increasing its market share to protect South African airways, to protect other agreements. Yeah, unfortunately that's not the case. At face where it looks like that, however... Uh, you'll understand that the issues of uh, uh, flying into different countries as a foreign uh, uh, airline is governed by certain treaties and, uh, and agreements. So therefore, hence it becomes important that if you are currently flying three aircrafts or uh, uh, you, 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 you currently have three uh, frequencies to Johannesburg... Don't they have extra flights according to the agreement? If you currently have three frequencies to Johannesburg, if you want to introduce the fourth, it, it means that within the uh, bilateral agreement that you have, it becomes important that you make a proper application and then due authorization is granted. The issue of protecting SA Airlines, no. But the issue of protecting the market itself, yes, correct. It's a standard practice everywhere in the world. We have other foreign airlines that fly into South Africa, which, for instance, may be servicing the same route. So therefore, we need to look at competitiveness, healthy competitiveness, and to ensure that balanced. we grant, uh, we keep it balanced and make sure that we grant equal opportunities to others. Has therefore the need to apply and be granted due authorization. All right. Well, I hope we can chat further one day about how open our skies are, how open should they be. Thank you very much, Diani Rick. Court saw from the Transport Ministry.